In this uh, tutorial we are going to draw in a non-conventional way and we will be using the Koinor hard mode pencil eraser for this. We will be uh, using the parcel to get the uh, paper all smeared up and to start I simply use a black coloring pencil to get the composition of my drawing started. In this case, I want to draw a water lily that is laying on the water and some reflections on the water and also uh, a leaf that is floating on the water. So I simply draw out some of the leaves of the flower and uh, the part where the, the surface of the water is and here is the leaf that is floating there on the water so it's just a rough sketch I do not pay too much attention on it because I will be roughing it in with the pastel of course but I need to know uh, where about the flower is going to be and the leaf so I know where to hit the paper with the past. Okay, now don't be alarmed, but I will be uh, drawing in the whole of the background with a black pastel, just simple black. And I really, really dive in there because I want the background to be pinch black uh, as black as possible and here in the front I'm using it a little bit softer and I already uh, take notice of the parts that uh, do not have to be pasteled in and once you have done that you simply take a cotton and then rough in all the pigment of the pastel so now your drawing is all gray but you can still see what the dark parts are and what the lighter parts will be and I make sure that it's all in there then it's time for the eraser with the eraser pencil I now can start to draw in or actually I'm erasing out the leaves of the flower I can just see a little bit of the sketch that is underneath all the pigment and um, by this way and maybe you are that kind of artist that is always thinking in little lines and um, well in that case you get narrowed down by trying to draw in this way you actually start uh, thinking in bigger shapes and in um, well a little bit like an uh, sculpturer would think or a painter so that is the unconventional uh, part that I, I was ta talking about and it's a very nice way to get a very rough sketch of your water lily and get a great feel of uh, light and dark You can see I'm drawing out the leaves and you can see different kinds of grey that uh, are erasing now. And with the black color pencil I now start to draw in the little shadows that are in between the, the leaves of our flower.
In this way, I can easily draw out the flower and it gives it that great feel of 3D. You can use the, the black pencil for the little shadows that are also underneath the flower. And that is uh, the shadow that is uh, on the water. I've zoomed in as best as I could, so you can get the feel of how it would be if you would be drawing in this way. Now for the reflection on the water, I also use the pencil eraser. I start drawing as a mirror image. Uh, drawing in the, the white parts that are reflecting on the water. You can see how easily this is done with the pencil eraser. Also on the top of the leaf. I simply erase out those parts and I um, I just uh, erase out the parts just between the veins, I think that's called the veins of the leaf. And here on the left side of the water, there's a lot of uh, light. And here on the right side, of course, then there is a lot of shadow that is hitting the water surface. The light in this case is coming from behind us, from the left, and you can uh, draw in as much detail as you want on the water of course, but I want it to be uh, smooth, calm water, and well, I think this is about the right way to do that. But it's still a very rough rough drawing but I want uh, I wanted it to be uh, really rough because uh, that really stands out with the, the fragile-ness uh, of this wonderful wonderful flower and well it's kind of an artistic uh, diamond if you want side of the flower I also want to draw in the stamen. They uh, are darkest orange in real uh, color life. So for this black and white drawing I simply draw them in blackish. And I also use of course the colored pencil again for a little bit more detail on the leaves of uh, our flower. Now and then I just take a look and maybe here underneath a leaf I need a little bit extra shadow to get that dramatic feel of the flower and just here underneath a really harsh shadow to uh, make the flower pop out even better. The background can be a little bit darker I think so I simply hit it again with the black pastel. By making the background as dark as possible the flower really pops out better and to drive the pigment into the paper I'm using a blender stick to get in between the little leaves that's uh, ideal because with your fingers you cannot get in there really so good that good so I'm using the blender stick for the little detail To 
to get the drawing more lively, I need a little bit more light on the leaf that is floating on the water. So I draw out, I erase out actually, some light just between the veins of that leaf. And well, it's just such a marvelous way to draw because you are not really drawing, you are actually erasing out your drawing and it's uh, such a nice way to get your mind thinking in another way and to improve your drawing uh, skills that way. Here on the side of the leaf, the leaves are actually quite uh, thick. I draw in a little bit more detail because uh, in the front of course the details are much sharper than uh, in the background. And what is also nice is that you can always uh, go back. Maybe uh, something is too dark, then you erase it out, or something is too light, then you hit it with the pastel or with the black color pencil again. So you really can uh, just keep shifting around like if you were a painter. This is a little bit too dark for instance. So then I hit it again with the pencil eraser and just pull it back a little bit. It's just such a nice way to draw. Get in some more detail on the reflection of the water and well, I just love this technique. And even though it's very rough and it's really not such a great drawing it is still uh, such a great uh, way to study the lights and the darks and uh, to get away from the tiny lines and to think in, in bigger spaces and uh, the way that uh, this plant is growing it's just really really nice Well, so far, my share and hope you like it, hope you will try this at home, it's really, really good to do and of course I also hope to see you again in one of my other tutorials. For now, take care and see you next time, bye bye.